Hello guys. In this bonus tutorial, I would like to show you how I created the materials for the gas mask. So here is our gas mask model, which I found from the internet. Uh, if I remember where did I find it, I write the link below so you can download it too. But today I'm gonna show you about materials. So we have five parts and for each part we have separate material and let me change the color for you to understand that what color is what part and now let's after that we're gonna create our materials okay so <clears throat> first let with the activate uh, let's launch the corona render I'm gonna use the corona as main render engine and now I'm going to add the HDR image that I'm going to use for lightning from here you can open the extended viewport and choose corona interactive and with the help of that we can see the changes immediately that we do so we'll change the resolution so that it's 16 to 9 now let's add the HDR to light the scene right now it's rendering but because we don't have any lights it's not visible let's just and okay let's add the HDR image I'm going to select any of these materials and choose get material and from here go down and choose corona bitmap and choose the folder where are your HDR stored and then choose the, your favorite HDR let's say this one and now I'm gonna drop this HDR uh, to my environment slot and press 8 to open environment and effects dialog panel and throw this to the environment slot choose instance so that when we change things here we can see the results changing here so choose the viewport perspective and lock it so that when we change the views it doesn't change without locking when we change <coughs> it changes with our selection too so we want always to render in perspective that's why we lock it Okay, so I don't want to see my HDR image here. So I go here to scene and choose direct visibility override. <coughs> and from here we can choose the color we want to be in our background. I like dark. Okay, something like this. Okay, now let's start working with my materials, with our materials. Okay. So first, let's create material for this rubber. So I'm going to change it to current material and choose the color something like dark green, something like this, maybe a little bit darker. And let's add reflections to it not this much a little bit less and let's make it glossy right now if we change the value with the numbers entire object like all parts will be the same amount of glossiness but in realism it's not right in real life objects have different wear and tear amounts in different sides um, uh, depending on the usage and that's why it's better to use the map any black and white grunge map will do it so i'm gonna choose my favorite one i'm gonna click here and choose bitmap and go to my textures folder and this is the glossiness map i use often let me sh 
show it this is something like this in order for you to see it's just a black and white image okay and now as you see if we watch closer we're gonna see that it has different variations of the glossiness but for this for using maps you need to have correct uv channel and because i downloaded this from the internet i'm not sure that my uvs are okay to check the uvs let's add the checker here let's see how the uvs are working let's make it tile five and five and we see that our uvs are stretched but actually not so bad maybe we can add different uv or leave it like this let's for now leave it like it is let's don't touch it at least we understand that the uvs are not too bad so let's replace the checker with our own image uh, from here we how we can control the glossiness amount like i want it to be different amount of glossiness but more glossy so for this we add we select our image and we go to the bitmap and from here we choose color correction and we choose keep old map as sub map it means that we add the color correction over our bitmap and our bitmap stays inside of this color correction like this and now let's increase the contrast value and right now if i increase the brightness image turns entirely to white and it gets entirely glossy and if i make the dark the object gets matte so i need to balance that somehow and when uh, i increase the contrast it's easy for me to see the result and when we get closer we can see the difference between shiny parts and uh, matte parts okay it's better will be visible in the glass so let's wait for it okay now uh, I'm happy with my glossiness maybe I need to increase this in order to be visible clearly see that let's zoom in these parts and as we see we have nice dirty reflections here okay and as you see i have some viewport clipping here occurring well, let's make scale it up a little bit because it's too much too small now i can zoom it as much as i can yeah from here you can see the image details and this is exactly i want what i wanted to achieve okay maybe we need to make it a little bit more glossy more matte okay this one is cool good now let's add the dirt and for adding a dirt I, what i need is add the layer material on the layer material and choose to keep all the material as sub material it means that we have a layered material and the old material stays like base material now i can add other layers as my dirt for instance let's add another corona material and i'm gonna choose the dark brown as a dirt color and easily something like this maybe and now i need to show which parts of the which parts of the gas mask would be dirty so the commonly these parts which is close to each other 
collects more dirt and we can easily imitate it with the help of ambient occlusion so let's copy it here we're gonna use it later and it's gonna be our dirt material and now we need to define a mask for instance if we choose a checker let's make it five to one five the white material would be dirt and black material will be the leather now we need to add let's get rid of this checker and we're gonna add corona ambient to dirt here and we need to re replace these colors swap these colors black to white and as you see from these parts we have nice dirt accumulated here and all these corners and we can adjust the dirt as we want for instance if we want heavy dirt we can increase this and also the amount of space like let's make it smaller and as we make it smaller we can see the dirt accumulates only here let's make it closer okay and if we make it one we're gonna see clearly the dirt passes and where the dirt accumulates and if we like where it accumulates we can change we can increase or decrease the size and decrease the roughness of the dirt so i guess 0.2 is okay and uh, yeah i'm happy with this result but now we have old looking dirty glass dirty leather but we have only dirt or in the specific areas but i if it's used a little bit it needs to have at least like a little bit use of wear in other in areas like this 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 and this so maybe we need to add another one another dirt layer here choose instance and now we're gonna add another mask and let's choose the noise this time or if you have a different scratch image texture or something let's see if i have this one kind of textures yeah i have scratch textures you can use any of these if you have one yeah i'm gonna use this one so let's take this and throw here or maybe first we need to throw first we need to draw here take the diffuse map and now we can take it to the alpha slot mask slot and as you see we have scratches visible here but we need to invert it so we go to our scratch map we go down and find the output and here we choose invert so our the blacks are black blacks turn to white and white turns to white Okay, so we have nice details here. Maybe we tile it because the one tiling is small. Let's make it two. Okay, now we have nice scratchy details too. Okay, even we can what we can do is we go to our second material. Let's make it copy. Because if we change this, we're gonna change this one too. So let's copy it and let's give bump to the second layer and take this image and throw to the bump slot and let's make it closer. And now I guess we're gonna see the difference. First, uh, I guess we need to give the same bump to the base color too to have effect like that like instance 
now as you see we have nice bumpy looking textures but I guess it's too much let's change it to 0 0.1 and we go here and we change these two but at least you know what can you do maybe we just change the color of this material too make it a little bit darker so you can see which one is the dirt and which one is the scratch okay now let's go back to original leather material right now it looks like a metal to me because it doesn't have any subsurface scattering but in the real leather uh, we have little bits of surface like translucency so let's copy this color and make it a little bit lighter and let's add a little bit translucency okay maybe more no I guess it's too much 0 0.3 is okay so cool but I need to decrease the reflection because it's too much right now. Okay, cool. Now let's add the glasses. So here are glasses. Let's change the corona material and diffuse zero and reflection white one and refraction one. And now we see completely clear glasses. But for this one, I'm going to use this texture again. Let's copy here the glossiness map and choose copy. Because maybe we need to adjust it for the glass separately. That's why we choose copy. So we go here. Let's see maybe we decrease the contrast a little bit okay cool we have nice dirty glasses so we don't need to have any anything else for the glass except dirt so let's add current layered material just like we did before choose keep all the material as swap material and add our dirt material here choose instance because the first dirt is everywhere the same now we're gonna add current ambient occlusion and change the colors swap the colors and now we do the same with the previous one we increase the one color spread and decrease the amount decrease the spacing and maybe more well, maybe it's enough now let's decrease this color spread we have nice dirty scratchy glass Maybe we'll make it three. Okay, cool. Now let's add the metal parts. And this is the metal. We're gonna add color on the material. For the metal, we don't have any diffuse color. We're gonna make it zero. We're gonna have full reflections. And we're going to need to increase this index of reflection amount to a very high number. And it makes this chrome. And for the glossiness part, we need to copy this texture again to the glossiness slot. Choose instance. No, we need to make it copy because we enter uh, adjust it separately now you can choose instance 
And now what we do here will affect only metal parts. Okay, so let's see first what does it look without any intervention. Yeah, it looks fine, I guess. Maybe we just need to decrease the reflection amount. So it doesn't look like a chrome. It looks like just metal. And now let's add the uh, dirt to our metals too. Let's choose granular layered material. And let's add our dirt here. Now it's completely rusty. Of what you can achieve, you can add ambient occlusion and choose the amount of dirt which is accumulated here. So choose the current ambient occlusion just like before. You can change the colors or you can leave it like this. Just play with the spread and the amount. Let's make it five. And right now it looks like a rusty but weird metal, but we don't want that. We just want to change the colors. Swap. Okay, now it looks much better. Let's make it 0 0.2 and 5. And I guess it's and reflections here. Let's go here and again decrease the reflections like 0.2 maybe. Or maybe we just make it 4 again and go to the glossiness map and decrease the brightness so that it gets Matt metal. Okay. Maybe if you have a more dirt, if you want more dirt on the metal parts, you go here and go to the ambient occlusion and increase the size. Let's make it 10 and make it like 4. Okay, now. I'm happy with my metal part. Now let's work on this filter part. So for the filter, I'm gonna use again carnal material. Let's make it brownish color or whatever you like. Let's make reflections. Okay, I don't know what color to pick. Okay, I guess this one is okay. Okay, now let's add glossiness. Let's see if we can see our... Yeah, it's quite nicely visible a little bit lower reflections okay now let's add dirt again for that we add caramel layered material choose keep and put the dirt here and add ambient occlusion Let's swap the colors. Okay, let's let's increase the color spread to see where the dirt is gonna accumulate. And if we're happy with this result, 
we're gonna just make it point together three and it gives us it's gonna give us nice dirt effect okay maybe we gotta we need to add the scratches to this part too so let's add another corona material but this time let's make it metallic maybe yeah maybe metallic we add we add the metallic here maybe we add this same metal here and now we gonna choose these scratches put here and this way we're gonna have nice scratches which show us just parts such as these ones okay now let's add a material here i'm just gonna use simple black Where is the subsurface to imitate the resin? Something like that. And little bit reflections and uh, matte closeness. Okay. And I guess we just need to add the dirt counter but the dirt for these resins will be very low so let's add the dirt and the copy this dirt texture here choose copy and let's increase the contrast maximum And I guess I'm gonna decrease the brightness. And this is gonna be our dirt. So, very subtle dirt on our resin. So, let's not say finish, let's make it closer. And I guess I am happy with. Result. So basically that's it for our materials and now let's put the plane under our gas mask and it's gonna be our shadow catcher and let's Put it here so like this. Let's fix it so that it looks like it stays in the ground. Something like this. Okay. Now, what I can do is bring back my render setup and remove direct visibility override so that I can see my HDR and let's create a Corona shadow catcher material and throw it to the plane and use the same HDR here as environment backplate choose instance and from here projection mode you can select environment projection mode and as you see we have our mask let's find the place to put our mask yeah i guess this place looks fine let's rotate it like this and I, actually i'm really happy with the result 
So let's create a bigger rendering for you to see how it looks like. Let's select add smaller and press render. And wait for it. I guess it would look cool. Maybe we just add a bloom and glare too to increase the effect. And let's increase the exposure. And we add bloom. And bloom just makes this shiny parts a little bit exaggerated and it gives realism. So these shiny parts looks much better with the bloom on. Uh, let me show you how it looks when it turned off. See, just a little bit dull. But when we increase this, it looks much better. So basically that's it for this tutorial about how to create materials, advanced materials for our gas mask that we're going to use in our object tracking tutorial. Hope you like it and have a nice day. See you on the next tutorials. Bye.